Hello and welcome to 60 Second Lesson Extended with me, Jake Woodward. Here we are taking a deeper dive into the lessons that appear over on Instagram. In today's lesson we're looking at Phil's using a double pedal that you've probably heard on all of your favourite metal tracks, and that's coming right up. So you may have just got your first double pedal, or maybe you've had one for years but it's been in storage gathering dust. Well hopefully this lesson will give you some really big, fun, loud and exciting fills that you can play using your double pedal. Now it is possible to play a lot of these patterns with just one foot using techniques like the slide technique. However, as you speed it up and you get into the faster tempos, you're going to get a much cleaner, stronger sound using the double pedal. The first fill is a grouping of four. This grouping could be played as 16th notes, 16th note triplets or 32nd notes. But in today's lesson, we're going to mainly focus on 16th notes and 32nd notes. The sticking for this fill is simply right, left, kick, kick. You could also play it with right, right or left, left up top. Again, at faster tempos, this might not stand out quite as clearly as a right left. So now let's hear it at a slower tempo play between the kick and snare. Then when it's feeling more comfortable, you can start to move the hands around the kit. There are a few different ways you could try this. For example, you could have both hands moving around the kit at the same time. You could leave one hand on the snare and move the other around the kit. You could move to a different drum every time, never hitting the right and left on the same drum. I find that I end up using a combination of all these ideas. This gives us the most mileage out of this one pattern. The next pattern is comprised of six notes, that is right, left, right, left, kick, kick. Again, this could be played at different rhythmic rates, but for today's lesson, we're gonna focus on 16th notes and 32nd notes. In a 4-4 bar of 16th notes, this pattern will occur twice, giving us 12 notes, so we've got four left. I've played those as right, left, right, left on the snare drum. So here is the pattern at a slower tempo played between the kick and snare. We could phrase it around the kit with the same ideas from earlier. However, as we've got more notes, there's more ideas we could try. First idea is to have the first right left on the snare drum, followed by right hand on the floor tom, left hand on the first tom. You then repeat this pattern in reverse, starting on the toms and ending on the snare. You could also phrase this pattern with right left on the snare, right left on the first tom, then the same tom, right left, and then the floor tom, right left. I find this motion gives a nice flow around the kit. The next step is to start combining these two patterns together. This is where you can really start to have fun and unleash your inner Joey Jordison. Here are a few examples of how I might combine these two fills together. So that's all for today's lesson. I hope that you can have some fun with this one. Remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll be back with more lessons very soon.